Hello everyone, Nubcax here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And today we actually have an update on not the not the Guardian Ring, not Pax in the shop. Oh my god. We have a 10x coming out for the Clan vs. Clan tournament, which is kicking off tomorrow. This is a personal reward clan versus clan, guys. So people are gonna be going pretty hard on this. On top of that, um, if you did the Kaja deck of fate, where did they, I think it was in here, right? For people that have collected or have the fragments for both Kaja and Timid the Fool, if you summon both of them, and I think you have to do this, I think by the 10th of November, I could be wrong about that though. Uh, I'm gonna be summoning mine tomorrow when CVC starts to be sure. But if you get both of them, you'll get a special gift, getting a legendary skill tome, a rank five chicken, Four times 50 multi-battles, 400 energy, and 500,000 silver. Which is, it's not much, but hey, listen, it's more than nothing. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty intense personal rewards, right? There's going to be a good few people that have both of these champions and will be pulling them both. Uh, I am going to do that. I'm also going to max them out and book them out and build them out. We're going to be doing all of that on stream tomorrow. So make sure to come on to the live stream. We're obviously going to be aiming for that 400,000 point mark so we can get all the tier six personal rewards. Uh, but I mean, honestly, just getting Timmit and Kasha summoned and up to 60 in a cent, that's going to give us close to like 100,000 points, which is one quarter of the way there. Maybe more than that when you include books, actually. Though you'll, I think you only need eight books for each. They're relatively cheap in terms of legendaries to book. But yeah, anyway... On top of that, there is a 10x event. Um, actually, two 10x events. So let's take a look. So Tuesday, Ancients, Primals, Sacreds. It is going to be a 10x for Lady Kimmy. Lady Kimmy is really, really good. She's definitely one of my more wanted champions. However, is she worth going for in a 10x event? I actually think no. I actually would say that she's not a champion that is really... 10x worthy, uh, to be completely honest. I mean, look, she's really good. She's got an amazing Doom Tower aura, though that's not too important, but it is the best one, really. Um, you know, she's doing turn meter manipulation with her passive. She has uh, block buffs and turn meter uh, on the enemies, potentially, with one random buff potentially removed. That can potentially remove stone skin, which is kind of nifty. Gives you that extra 50-50 against a stone skin, right? Gives allies 15% turn meter, Increase accuracy, increase speed. She also then has an AoE, decrease accuracy, decrease speed, decrease turn meter. And then her A1 is doing even more turn meter stuff. So like you include her passive as well. She's doing turn meter stuff all over the place. I think one of the more underrated things about her is definitely the increase accuracy and the decrease accuracy. I, I've been talking about this for a while with multiple champions now at this point. I think that these are two of the most underrated buffs and debuffs in the game. I think they're both huge. It can make a massive impact. And who knows? I, I'm really expecting we're going to see new content in the game soon. They said there's something coming that is bigger than Doom Tower. Surely that's coming soon. I mean, even if it doesn't arrive in the next patch in like the next couple of weeks, I'd imagine there's going to be a proper what's next video at the very least teasing it. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we're going to see new content like in the next couple of weeks, like middle of November? Do you think it's going to be December? Uh, I'm also sort of expecting like a new login legendary champion uh, as well. Probably coming, I would think, end of November. They've been pretty consistent at doing that. End of November through December, January. New login legendary, right? Tis the season uh, to get gamers gaming. So yeah, it makes sense. But look, all this stuff put together at Lady Kimmy, I think she's really good. I do think as well, we know there is a change for Polymorph coming uh in january right they're going to nerf polymorph a bit uh that is going to help bomb champions and guess what turn meter boost increase accuracy increase speed that is amazing pair her with an arbiter with the increased turn meter increased attack and you've got really everything you need uh for uh bomb champions that's that's it right so that's a very powerful combo can be really cool i think she's very useful really arena Live Arena, especially. She can be really good, especially with bombs. is where she really shines and control champions. I think she's also very good for Hydra, right? Consistent decrease accuracy, decrease speed. Keeping that on. Um, yeah, and, and making it much easier to resist everything they're throwing at you and any sort of content like that. She's great. But it, it's a 10x from Ancients, Primals, and Sacreds. I generally feel that, honestly, I'd rather save my Mercy Timer with those. More so for double legendary events, if possible. 
um, that's sort of more what I feel. And it's hard to play around the primal mercy as well. It's more about ancients and sacreds. Definitely ancients. I, I'd much rather target double events. And even with sacreds, same thing. But it's tricky. If you're very, very close to mercy, she's not terrible, right? You could certainly go for it. But yeah, it's not like if it was a duchess, I'd definitely go for it. With Kimmy, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think, though. People love Kimmy. And rightly so. She's really good. On Wednesday, and this is the, <laughs> this one is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, okay. We're going to have Shuzen 10x on Wednesday. Oh my God. Why am I face palming so hard? Oh, well, Corpulent Cadaver came out in Hydra and was really overpowered, the whole Corpulent Cadaver team. Raid came out and they did like a, a prism shard event for Brogni. I think they had like a 10x for Brogni as well. But I tell you what they did before they did those events for Brogni, they nerfed the cadaver team, right? That was actually pretty good. You know, fair play to them for doing that, right? They did the nerf first. It's not like they tried to sell you the Brogni's and then nerfed it afterwards. Been like, haha, we got you. We got you. Well, from the, I, I mentioned this in the video earlier today, but in the Raid Digest, they talked about if any one champion is dominating Hydra too much, they will consider rebalancing. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, we looked at this in the video earlier today. I think we were looking at Brutal. See, like, early, I did a video on Bango's team earlier today. Really impressive few teams here doing, like, 200, 300 million damage. Um, then we've got these teams. The Shuzen teams, plus Trunda, plus Yumiko's, and Gurptuk, and Lydia. Uh, and these teams were jumping... It's, just, it's like a, it's like sort of a baby. It's not really a, calling it a jump would be too excessive. Really. It's a, a teeny tiny baby step, barely perceptible. Doesn't really have any impact on the scores at all, right? But we go from 300 million to 22,000 million. Um, you know, would you like 300 bucks or do you want 22,000 bucks? What's the difference? It's all the same. Um, but that's where we're going up to with these teams. Um, so yeah, Shuzan is, is a core part of that. Shuzan is, is really, really important. She's basically Arbiter, but better. Um, do I expect them to nerf her, though? I, I don't think that they would nerf Shuzan. I think that would be weird. I think that doesn't make sense. I think if they're to touch that team, I think Trunda and Yumiko are like the likely targets. I, I don't think Shuzan or Lydia or Gurptuk would be, would be touched. Um, but yeah, Shuzan, it, I, I think she's a really good champion. But don't be fooled by, I think there's a lot of Krakens are probably going to gamble, right? And go, ah, oh, well, you know, we kind of want to stomp Hydra Clash. We can do it. We've got the money. We can win. We can buy the win. I can buy it. I can buy, I mean, they might nerf it, but they might not. I could buy it. You know, what's a few hundred thousand? It's fine, right? It's all good. Um, let's go for it. Uh, I wouldn't spend a few hundred thousand for one event. Maybe, maybe a thousand, though. You might, might squeeze it in. A few hundred at least, right? Uh, but... She's in. Look, amazing base stats. This is the big move. Or wow, she's got her two moves actually are really good. So let's look at her A3 first. Look, it's term meter fill with increased speed and AoE decrease speed, term meter pushback. That for Hydra is obviously great, right? Increased speed, AoE decrease speed. Brilliant. That's a solid move. Good. Uh, and the term meter manipulation is decent as well. Uh, it's not bad in arena either. Any sort of wave based or control based content. Uh, solid. Then her A2. This is pretty cool. So number one, this does remove polymorph. It removes sheep. Not very useful in my opinion though, right? It just removes sheep from the target ally. That's it. It doesn't give them like an instant turn in, in that sense. It doesn't do anything. Uh, I think it just removes the sheep. So not very useful. But if they're not under sheep, it gives the ally increased attack, increased crit rate, increased crit damage, and an instant turn. And that is very strong on a three turn. If you think about Arbiter, Arbiter boosts up all your team's turn meter and gives increased attack. And that's great. And, you know, in a speed type meta that is, is used, right, to, to boost up your whole team. Maybe you've got another booster as well so that your nuker can come in and nuke the enemy team while they've got increased attack. Shuzen basically just does it for free, right? Put her in super fast gear. As soon as she takes a turn, it's just bam. There goes your nuker with increased crit rate, crit damage, attack. And they instantly get a turn and get to blast. That's very powerful. It's very potent. Um, so yeah, that, that's part of, of why that's so strong. So like you use that with, with Trunda and the Yumikos and you just reset Shuzen. She boosts the Trunda. Trunda fires off her move. You reset and you repeat, etc. So very, very powerful. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at Shuzen. She gets accuracy equal to speed. So she can actually do her, her debuffy things. She's a great champion. She's solid. 
She's not a champion you would use in every single arena match, right? Compared to the Arbiter that I mentioned, Arbiter brings Revive, which is, is pretty big. Um, Shu Zen functions very similarly to that, but you wouldn't use her in every match. You'd use her in some. I think she's definitely endgame viable, 100%. Um, and I think she's still good in Hydra, even when like the whole Trenda thing is presumably going to be changed. Um, so yeah, look, I think this champion is really good, but I tell you, I'm not a fan of <laughs> like there being an OP, a massively broken strategy at the moment. And Shuzen is a key part of it. And they're like, oh, hey guys, there's a, here's a 10x event for that Shuzen. I mean, at least they didn't put it, if it was 10x Trunda, 10x Shuzen, it would have been a real face palm. At least they've not done that, but it is still a little bit silly. So there you go. I, if I was close to my Void Mercy, would I go for Shuzen? Um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I probably wouldn't, but if I pulled her, I'd actually be pretty happy. I don't think she's quite at the level for me where I'd want to pull uh, for her compared to, let's say, going for, you know, a Seafy, maybe a Krisk, you know, that, that sort of caliber. I think Sulfurion is, is really good as well. You know, there's there's a lot of really, really good Void Legos, obviously Taras, Marishka, all of that. Um, Yumiko herself, Warlord. I don't know. There, there are Plenty of Void Legendaries I'd probably go for, Riho, uh, even, for dungeons, over the Shuzen. But, I mean, she's not far behind, right? So she's pretty good. So, again, I, th I think you could. I think both her and Lady Kimmy, they're both sort of borderline for me, of being like, ah, I don't think that, for me, they're worth going for uh, with the Mercy timer. But I, I could understand. If someone said, hey, actually, Nubkex, I'm close to Mercy. I'm going for Kimmy. I'm close to Mercy and Void as well. I'm going for Shuzen. I want them both, you know? I wouldn't criticize them. I'd be like, okay, you know, well, fair enough, man. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I can I can see that, but it's not something that I would do. That's probably how I'd put it. So there you go. That's the 10X events. I will be streaming, uh, like I said, this CVC. So I'll see you when it starts. So it should be whenever the actual tournament begins in game. I will be live. Usually we go for a couple of hours. Uh, and the big thing we're going to be doing is building up Timmet and Kaja. I obviously have them both, Timmet and Kaja. We're going to pull them both, build them both and uh, try them out in some arena so it should be quite fun on the actual game i've got different builds from what are planned than what i actually used on the test server we're we're mixing it up so um yeah it should be pretty fun anyway look thank you for watching let me know what do you think about these summoning events and uh, i'll see you all next time goodbye